What if you became an expert at people reading so you can better communicate and relate to others in any setting? Hi, I'm Marissa Santoro and I teach professionals how to own their authority so they can increase their influence, double their network, and attract more career opportunities. Today I want to introduce you to DISC. I'm going to walk you through how to identify and people read anyone and find out if they sit across one of four leadership styles. Now the fact is, is we can't really ever be fully sure of other people's styles unless they tell us. But by using this people reading technique, you will be able to very, very strongly recognize their style. And you can start with that base of knowledge when you need to interact with them. Now, before we get into uh, to how this is done, it's important to remember that people reading is not meant to label people. Instead, it's a way to help you understand their needs. And there are no good or bad styles, right? Oil styles have strengths and limitations, and everyone is a blend of four styles. So it may be difficult uh, to read people correctly. When people reading, you want to observe actual behavior. That includes body language, the tone of voice and expressions, choice of words, right? So let's walk in uh, into this three-step exercise. Start by picturing someone that you know well. Consider, as a step one, consider whether this person is more fast-paced and outspoken or more cautious and reflective, right? So think about someone that you, that you know well, that you work with, possibly. Consider whether they are more fast-paced and outspoken or more cautious and reflective. And just make a note of that. Now in step two, I'd like you to consider whether this person is more questioning and skeptical or more accepting and warm. So the same person, think about whether this person is more questioning and skeptical or more accepting and warm. All right, so step three, I want you to combine your answers from those two questions to determine the person's disc style. All right, so they're usually one of one of these four. All right, so let's get start with the started with the first one, the D style, which stands for dominance. People with the D style like when you are direct and you get to the point rather than rambling or oversharing details. They also prefer that you emphasize contributions to results because it's a key way to gain their buy-in. And it's also important for you to know that don't take their assertiveness too personally, even if they seem impatient or demanding under stress. So that's the D style. Okay, now working with the I style, which stands for influence, show some openness and willingness to entertain different possibilities and ideas. Try to convey an upbeat attitude and find ways to fit in praise, even if you are not fully on board. Reassure them that disagreement is natural for an open discussion and doesn't reflect on them personally. Okay, next, so now let's go to the C style, which stands for conscientiousness. When working with the C style, keep in mind that strong or expressive displays of emotion can make them uncomfortable. Gain their buy-in, show that you've assessed the options thoroughly and allow them time to process. Remember that they ask questions to ensure superior results, not meant to slow things down. It's just how they're wired. All right, and now the S style, which stands for steadiness. When working with someone with the S style, know that being dependable and sincere can build and strengthen the relationship. When seeking their buy-in, try to show concern for others' needs and room to process the options. And lastly, rather than take their silence for acceptance, try to create a safe space for them to reveal their true feelings. All right, so now that you've got a good sense or a baseline sense of, of what each of these styles needs, the next step is, as a homework exercise, if you're just getting to know me here at our Shoes, I love to give homework. Now that you've had some, a little practice here with people reading, take a minute to people read someone that you work with, right? Do the three-step exercise, write that person's style down, and, uh, and rewind this video to go, uh, to go back to some of the things that they look for when you are working with them, right? If you want, you want to create a more stronger and effective relationship. All right, I'm Marissa Santoro with In Our Shoes, empowering professionals to own their authority so they can increase their influence and attract more career opportunities. Hey, if you haven't yet, please make sure you download our free audio leadership program uh, down below, which will give you uh, the step-by-step -step on how to own your authority in your career. All right, I will talk to you soon. Bye now.